If you're wondering what a guide coat is, in the old days they used red primer. And red primer worked real well because as you sanded it, the top part, the high parts got light and the low parts stayed dark. Well, eventually they sort of all went to gray primer and it's harder to see. So if you give it a light shot of spray bomb black or a darker color and you start sanding, again, the light parts are gonna be on top and the little specks of paint will sit in the low spots. Let me show you what that looks like. We'll be using some inexpensive black spray bomb for the guide coat. And you just need a dusting. Here's an up close shot and you can see if you start sanding and there's a low area there's going to be some black paint or at least a few dots in those low spots and you can easily pick that up. We'll be block sanding with a nice straight 10 inch board and 120 grit and to get it even straighter you could use the long board but this is just might be a little bit too big for the area. Let me stop and show you what it looks like. This is a really good example because it clearly shows the low dark areas. So anything dark is low. And we're going to keep block sanding this until those low areas or those dark areas go away. You can even see where I D8 or feather edge the edge of the paint. And I'll show you that up close. This right here is the edge of the old paint. So paint, paint, paint and then metal. Luckily we put three heavy coats of primer surfacer so we have something to work with. If your primer was thin you would start block sanding and immediately hit paint or metal. And again, there's a little bit of a flare, so I turn the block this way so we can ride along that flare. If you go this way, it's just going to hit this edge. It's going to bridge and leave this unsanded. sanding all this way right now, but we're going to move to the other side and be going this way in sort of a crosshatch pattern. You can go in circles too if you like, as long as you cancel those out with straight sanding strokes. After finishing, you can see we hit metal, and if these are too high, you're going to have to tap them down and fill it. 
but I think we're going to be okay. We do have a little bit of a low area here. You can, you might be able to see it. It's just barely visible, the dark, and right in here, and one spot right there. We'll fill that in with some putty, block sand it, and prime it again, and probably block sand one more time. Good thing about using the cheese grater right now is you're not messing up what you already did. It just takes down the filler. If this was a show car, we'd block sand again, prime, finish sand with 400, and paint it. But on this car, we're going to block sand with the DA and 320, and then paint. I hope you enjoyed this video on the purpose of a guide coat. If you did, and you'd like to get my latest videos, don't forget to hit the subscribe button.